Hi, my name is Greg, and in this video I'm going to show you how to animate 3D text in uh, HitFilm 4 Pro. This simple keyframing can also be done in most versions of HitFilm. In the last video, I created this basic 3D text using text, uh, set mat, and the 3D extrusion generators. Uh, now it's time to put some simple animation to this thing. So let's get right into it. First off, uh, we want to set keyframes for the rotation uh, X, Y, and Z. So right at the beginning of the timeline, 0.0, .0 I'm going to set a keyframe for X at negative 220. I'm going to set a rotation of negative 7. And rotate Z uh, to negative 2. Now I'm going to use the uh, little timeline clock up here. And I'm going to jump to 12 seconds in the timeline. And uh, I'm going to set a keyframe on X of 0. Then I want to move down to the rotation Y, set a keyframe of negative 4.8. And then uh, jump down to rotation Z and set that to 0. And I'm going to jump up the timeline a little bit here to 121 and we're going to set some keyframes for the X position of 0 the Y rotation to 0 and uh, uh, no, let's set that to 1 instead. Then I'm going to jump forward to the end of my timeline, and I'm going to set a X value of 146. So basically we just put spin on the text. I put spin uh, rolling forward and at the end of the uh, text timeline the text is rolling backwards. Okay, it's just forward and backward spin. Not much motion to it, doesn't look that great. So what we need to do now is keyframe the position uh, particularly the Z position. So at zero, I'm going to put a position of 1877.7. This puts the text behind the camera. And I'm going to jump forward to 12 seconds and I'm going to bring the text back to zero, which puts it right back uh, in front of the camera. Then I'm going to jump to keyframe 219 and I'm going to push the text way back to say negative 4500. Well, I want the text to stay in place a little longer so I'm going to jump back a little bit to the timeline here of uh, 121 I believe yeah 121. And uh, I'm going to set the key position to zero. Basically what we did here was put the text behind the camera and then threw it out to back to zero. So now you can see, um, you know, your text is flying in and then flying away. What you need to do to make this a little bit better is go to the extrusion plane and we're going to uh, 
use the opacity of the extrusion itself, the text, and we're going to make that text uh, fade out at the end. So let's go to keyframe 121. Set a keyframe for the opacity uh, at 100%. Just click right here, a little, little um, button. Then I'm going to jump to the keyframe 208. Set an opacity of 80%. And then I'm going to go to the end of the play range at 219, bring the opacity down to zero. So there you have it, simple animated text. Uh, you can see it's just fading away as it's rolling back. I'm making room for the next text that's flying in. So really, all in all, that's... Uh, basic animation making your text fly in from off the screen I encourage you to review all of the tutorials that the hit film group and users put out even if the uh, tutorial isn't covering your version of hit film it is well worth it to watch these tutorials you'll learn 10 times more than I can teach you in this short video thanks for watching have a great day.